The Star Wars Holiday Special aired in 1978 and is a unique piece of the Star Wars saga. It's known for its mix of the familiar Star Wars characters with variety show style musical numbers and celebrity guest appearances. B. Arthur, a classic Hollywood actor, brought her charm to the show, making her one of the memorable parts of this special. This TV movie has its share of surprising facts, like the first appearance of Boba Fett, which later became a fan favorite character. Now, we're curious about your connection to this TV movie. What is your most treasured memory related to the Star Wars Holiday Special? Share your stories and experiences in the comments. We'd love to hear them. Stay tuned for more funny, shocking, and touching facts about this one-of-a-kind special. The Star Wars Holiday Special, aired in 1978, is a unique addition to the Star Wars saga. It centers around Chewbacca's journey to celebrate Life Day with his family on his home planet. Despite its ambition to expand the beloved universe, the special is often criticized for its execution. The narrative includes Chewbacca's family communicating in their native language without subtitles, which can be challenging for viewers to follow. The special also features a mix of live action sequences and an animated segment introducing the character Boba Fett. While the animation has been praised, its brief duration leaves fans wanting more. The production value, reusing footage from the original Star Wars film, and the inclusion of musical numbers have been points of contention among the audience. Overall, the special stands as a curious piece of Star Wars history, reflecting the era's experimental television and the franchise's early steps into new storytelling mediums. In the world of voice acting, few have the presence of James Earl Jones, who, despite his significant role as the voice of Darth Vader, chose not to be credited in the early Star Wars films, feeling his contribution was minor. It wasn't until the third installment that he accepted credit. Anthony Daniels, known for his portrayal of C-3PO, left a permanent mark at Man's Chinese Theater, where the droid's footprints are immortalized. Meanwhile, Mark Hamill, the face behind Luke Skywalker, was once considered for a future role akin to Obi-Wan Kenobi to guide a new hero in a saga that was initially projected for release in 2011. However, this vision would eventually be realized with a new timeline set for 2015, 2017, and 2019 under Disney's direction. In the world of stage and screen, the actors behind the characters are often as compelling as their on-screen personas. Anthony Daniels, known for his precise movements and vocal performance, has a background in theater with roles in productions like P.S. Your Cat is Dead and Dangerous Corner. Alec Guinness, whose performances are marked by a distinct simplicity and clarity, admired these very qualities in his fellow actors. Harrison Ford, before becoming a household name, honed his craft on stage, notably playing Mac the Knife in the Three Penny Opera during his college years. These experiences shaped their approaches to acting, contributing to the depth they brought to their roles in the special. In the landscape of film and television, certain decisions by actors and actresses shaped their careers in the entertainment industry. James Earl Jones, known for his powerful voice, once auditioned for the comedy Blazing Saddles, but did not get the part. Instead, Cleavon Little played the role of Bart. David Prowse, who physically portrayed Darth Vader, has the distinction of acting in three films recognized by the National Film Registry for their significance, including A Clockwork Orange and two Star Wars films. Carrie Fisher, who became famous as Princess Leia, declined a role in The Blue Lagoon, which was later filled by Brooke Shields. Fisher also passed on roles in Pretty Baby and Endless Love, opting to continue her journey in the Star Wars saga. These choices not only define their careers, but also influence the cultural fabric of cinema. Sir Alec Guinness, known for his role in the original Star Wars film, held a personal admiration for comedian Stan Laurel. His involvement in the film was not just artistic, but also financial, as he secured a 2.5% share of the revenue. This agreement, initially set at 2%, was increased by George Lucas as a gesture of gratitude for Guinness's contributions on set, which included assisting with dialogue and supporting other actors. Despite a later reduction to Zone 25%, Guinness's share from the film's impressive box office earnings in 1977, which surpassed $400 million, was substantial. His earnings from this venture alone were estimated to be around $9 million, 
outstripping the earnings of other British actors of the era, such as Sean Connery and Roger Moore, who portrayed James Bond. The television special associated with the franchise aired only once in the United States on November 17, 1978, taking over the time slots usually filled by popular shows Wonder Woman and The Incredible Hulk. This one-time broadcast was not limited to the US. It also reached audiences in Canada, New Zealand, and Australia through their respective networks. Alec Guinness, known for his role in the original Star Wars films, concluded his stage career with a performance as a Russian diplomat in a walk in the woods at London's Comedy Theatre. His final bow on stage came on May 30, 1989. James Earl Jones, the voice behind the iconic Darth Vader, shared the screen with Billy D. Williams, who played Lando Calrissian, marking the only major roles by black actors in the trilogy. Williams also starred as Scott Joplin in 1977, whose music famously accompanied The Sting in 1973, a film that included James's father, Robert Earl Jones. Anthony Daniels holds a unique record within the Star Wars universe, being the only actor to deliver lines in every installment of the saga, with the exception of the Ewok-centered films. His portrayal of C-3PO has been a constant throughout the series, including the 2016 film Rogue One A Star Wars Story. In the unique television event, notable figures from the entertainment industry made appearances that extended beyond their roles in the special. B. Arthur, known for her television work, took a stand in a courtroom setting on Judge Judy, supporting a defendant connected to PETA, leading to a victory for the defendant. James Earl Jones, recognized for his distinctive voice, showed versatility by reprising his role as Admiral James Greer across three films in the Jack Ryan series, sharing this distinction with a select few actors. David Prowse brought a classic horror character to life not once, but twice, portraying Frankenstein's monster in two separate Hammer films, showcasing his ability to embody such an iconic role consistently. Harvey Corman, known for his decade-long stint on The Carol Burnett Show, ventured into his own television series in 1977, which unfortunately did not resonate with audiences. This led to Dick Van Dyke filling his previous role. Despite his talent, subsequent shows like The Tim Conway Show in 1980 also did not meet success. Meanwhile, Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher, co-stars in the original Star Wars trilogy, unknowingly reunited in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back in 2001. It was their first joint project since Return of the Jedi. In a twist of fate, Carrie Fisher shared the screen with her daughter, Billy Lurd, in the Star Wars sequels The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, with Lurd's participation being a surprise to Fisher herself. In the galaxy of Star Wars, Anthony Daniels is known for his role as C-3PO, marking significant moments by delivering the opening line in the original 1977 release and the closing line in the 295 prequel. Alec Guinness's portrayal of Obi-Wan Kenobi influenced not only Ewan McGregor, but also the voice characterization of Watto, drawing inspiration from Guinness's earlier role as Fajin. The 1978 special introduced Chewbacca's family with affectionate nicknames that hinted at their full names, which, despite the special's non-canon status, were later embraced into the official narrative. Chewbacca's family members, known as Mala, Lumpy, and Itchy in the show, are actually Malatobuk, Lumpawara, and Atachikuk. Their inclusion reflects the expanding universe of Star Wars characters and stories.